I'm Wilco Van Cleef Bolton and I'm seven foot tall. I'm Keisha Van Cleef Bolton and I'm six foot six. And we are the UK's tallest family. I enjoy being known for my height. Being different is not, not a problem. Yeah, exactly. It's just you have to celebrate each difference. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's fantastic. We have five kids. Lucas is six foot five. Eva, who is five foot eight. Jonah is five foot one. Ezra is three foot eleven and a half. And Gabriel is three foot ten. We met via the Tall Persons Club. I was getting really fed up of being approached by really short men. I made a post just asking if there were any tall men out there who wanted to join me to go for a dance. And I responded, I can't even dance. Still can't dance. <laughs> Still can't dance, no. You turn up late for the pub. Oh. Fashionably late, as always. <laughs> you didn't even notice me. No, I didn't. We just hit it off from there, right from the beginning. We've been inseparable since. <laughs> I don't think we've ever been apart for more than a couple of days. Yeah. It's, it's been a life changer. We could have foreseen that 20 years later, you know, we would have been married with five kids. We were married within the year. Engaged after three months, married, <laughs> married after six. <laughs> I come from a tall family. Both my parents are six feet and over. I believe my mum is about six foot one. I grew up in Jamaica and I was about, I was past six foot by the time I was 12 years old. I have one brother and two sisters. Um, my brother is about six foot two. I've never actually measured him. Um, and my sisters are around five foot seven, five foot eight. I'm seven foot tall at the moment. Uh, my shoe size is 15. And I believe I reached this height when I was around um, 15, 16 years old. I like to keep my head down, not be noticed. Um, you know, not to stick, I'll stick out anyway. So I didn't want to stick out any more than I already did. My parents are not um, typically tall. They're about five foot six, five foot seven, I think. Yeah. Um, but my mum's brothers and um, her father, so my granddad, they were all tall. They were all over six foot. The, the, the Dutch are officially the tallest nation in the world. You do notice it. So you walk around the streets in the Netherlands and everyone's taller. As teenagers, they don't really like a lot of attention. They are used to being known as the tall kids. I am 12 years old. I am 12. I am either fat kids or tall. I enjoy being known for my height. I'm trying to encourage my children to be more positive about their height. Being tall, particularly for a female, might be seen as a negative thing. Um, I'm just encouraging my daughter to be proud of it. I remember Ava a few years ago, she was taking photos with her friends and I noticed that she was slouching and I encouraged her not to and now she's standing tall and being proud. It's opened up a lot of doors to new experiences. We've done quite a bit of travelling uh, for the Guinness World Records. We went to Italy, to Rome. We were there for a week to take part in this TV show. Um, yep, we went to Belgium and the Netherlands. So we did a little tour there for a book launch. We've done counters of interviews. I think it's all interesting experiences for the kids as well to be involved in. And just be um, proud of what they've been able to participate mm -hmm. in. Uh, in the current climate, it's just people are struggling to normalize differences. Um, so I think this is just one way we, we, we're normalizing heights. So also, you know, teaching our kids not to see difference. Because of our height, we've had to um, to adjust to create what is not already available. Mm -hmm. The reason you started Woodwork in the first place was in our previous home, we created the, we built a triple bunk bed um, because we had two bedrooms and we needed to fit three children in one room and still have space for them to play. We are able to adapt our environment to suit us. Woodwork is a problem solver. 
Um, so usually I present the problem, um, sometimes create it, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then, then I leave him to figure it out. So for instance, I told Wilco, we need a chicken coop. He had to figure out what kind of chicken coop we needed and he built it. The problem solving aspect is quite important as well and uh, I'm hoping the kids will pick up on it. If there's a problem in front of you, you can fix it. I've been doing archery for about, uh, since I was 14 I think, so I started in the Netherlands. Uh, the archery is not your typical tall friendly sport. There is really a limited number of arrows, well to the point now where I've got specially made arrows um, that are made longer than the, the standard factory made arrows. Sports-wise, Lucas has done basketball when he was younger. Um, he's not done much um, regarding sports lately because um, of his rapid growing, he's, um, has, he had some injuries. He's Osgood Slatter syndrome. Yep. So he is in pain in his knees a lot. So hopefully he outgrows that. Other than that, um, they followed me in, uh, in archery. So Lucas, Ava and Jonah, um, just before the lockdown, uh, we were, the four of us were doing archery um, a lot. Competitions. Yep, competitions yeah. and practice and everything. Most people might assume that we would make them do basketball, but we just give them that room to explore. We would like them to do some any sport that they want to, but nothing specific really. The advice I give my younger self is um, go with the flow well, yes, exactly. and just enjoy life, dance more. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't waste time crying about mm. something that you can't change. Yep, doesn't so work. that would be what yeah. I would tell my 16 year old self when I wish I could be shorter. I would tell myself not to, not to be sad about something I can't change. Mm -hmm. It's, this is it. This is something to celebrate. <laughs>